Hi there, it is Gushan. I hope you are having a great day today. Today I want to share with you a short presentation that I have prepared about flaring and venting in oil and gas industry. So, flaring is the process of controlled burning of excess gas in an open flame at the top of the flare stacks in oil production sites. This happens without energy recovery and results in atmospheric pollution along with excessive amount of heat and noise generation. But venting is discharge of unburned gases into the atmosphere, either intentionally in order to maintain safe operations or unintentionally during process upsets, such as equipment leakage or failures. Venting directly to the atmosphere is also called cold venting. For cold venting, height of the stacks need to be defined in a way that not to cause any harm to the employees at the site. And specific studies and assessments, such as process safety analysis, dispersion analysis, toxicity analysis, are conducted in order to choose flaring or venting, and sometimes they both can be avoided and even prohibited. It is known fact that both flaring and gas venting are the major environmental concerns and they release significant amount of greenhouse gases to the atmosphere. When these gases accumulate in the atmosphere, they change the thermal properties of the atmosphere so they trap more heat and lead to increase of global temperatures on Earth, which is also called global warming. Another environmental concern is acid deposition in the form of rain or snow or sleet, which can lead to lakes and streams becoming acidified and poisoned. And apart from environmental concerns, it's also deemed as wasting of valuable non-renewable resource by burning it off for nothing in return. There are some gas flaring and venting alternatives which are mainly not efficient due to economical assessments. For example, incinerators. Flaring and incineration are two different combustion technologies and while they both contribute to environmental emissions, the incineration has lower impact on the environment. This is because the effect on the environment depends on the combustion efficiency and incineration has more efficient combustions than flares. However, installation and operation costs are higher compared to flaring system and they are mainly used for sore gas processing plants and not for routine waste gas flaring. Another alternative is re-injection of the waste gas underground to maintain reservoir pressure during production. But it depends on the reservoir characteristics and is not always practical for all fields. And optimization of flare gas recovery system in the flare gas in the stream, which can reduce flare amount and hence emissions to the atmosphere. Associated gas could also be used to power microturbine generators for electricity production. And modern technologies such as HIPS system can avoid needs for flaring in overpressure scenarios. And I'm planning to talk about HIPS in, the more, in more detail in my next video presentation. There are actually many more alternatives and technologies which are being developed and or utilized by different companies as part of emission reduction projects. In conclusion, releasing gas to the atmosphere, either by flaring or venting, is an essential practice in oil and gas industry, primarily for safety reasons. But at the same time, they are major contributors to the environmental pollutions. New technologies and methods are being developed by countries and companies to help to reduce need for flaring, but at the same time to maintain safe operations. At the end, as a bonus, I want to share with you two maps produced by SkyTruth that I found very interesting. The maps demonstrate amount of natural gas flaring around the world and they can be used for several purposes. And I'm just dropping the link in the comment section below, you can find it there and just have a look at it. That's it, this is the end of my presentation, I hope you like this. Please feel free to add your comments or thoughts if you have any. And please keep learning and sharing and have a nice day.